Some people see the ground coming Some people wait until it hits Well, there's a train wreck Rock City Network Centre Push coming to you from uh, Face the Music 2010 and we have a very special guest with us, uh, Paul Cashmere from Undercover. How are you my friend? Oh, good to talk to you Ben. Thank you very much for, uh, for giving us your time. I know uh, you've, you've been busy, you've had, your, you've had your panel today, you've watched a few and, uh, and uh, now everyone's going upstairs to uh, swap cards and have <laughs> business meetings and so forth. So thank you very much for uh, letting us cut into your time. How no every, how's everything going at undercover.com.au? Oh, we're uh, going through a, a few new things at the moment uh, in terms of IP television mm -hmm. uh, and we've been pioneering the, uh, the new IPTV uh, wave that is coming through. We've uh, created the first of the IPTV channels for Sony Bravia for music. Mm -hmm. uh, so now you can watch Undercover as a television channel on the new Bravia sets, uh, which is uh, UCTV, we call it. Yeah. Uh, we've launched a mobile version of that now. And of course, the website we've had and been going for well, that's uh, what, 15 years. 15 now? years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, we are an absolute institution to anybody uh, online like ourselves and here at Rock City Networks and uh, everyone else out there trying to, do, you know, you. trying to emulate the same thing. It's, uh, it, 15 years is a long time to be in the game, especially with the internet really only blowing out in the last, you know, seven to eight years. It's, yeah. uh, you know, people thought I was quite mad when yeah, well, we started Undercover that, back in 1995. I, did, I didn't want to say that, but I kind of, you know, it was really only bulletin boards and very, uh, very delayed ones at that point. Well, that actually, point. actually, we even predate that because when we started Undercover, there was no video on computers unless you were watching it on a CD-ROM. Yeah. So the original magazine was a CD-ROM that you went and bought in the newsagents every two months. And uh, you know we'd go out just like this and be capturing interviews, and then you, we'd edit them, and then they'd have to get worked into a CD-ROM format, built around a magazine cover, and it was yeah. like you know going out and buying a Rolling Stone magazine, but it only had a cover and a CD inside. Yeah. And uh, we did that right through until '98. Yeah. And then then we went online. Then then you went online. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's very interesting. And um now with the with UCTV, was that launched at the Big Sound? conference or was that was that tied into you launching at the time? Uh, well UCTV started uh, with uh, Sony around June okay. and basically that was Sony coming to us and saying hey we'd like to do a television version of what you're doing online uh, and then they explained you know IPTV and the new sets that were all internet enabled coming out we thought this is fantastic so it made us rethink the way that we were doing video at that point we were doing like short three minute to five minute YouTube type clips but mm -hmm. they said you know it's going to be a different viewing experience people will be sitting in their lounge rooms I'll be watching it on a 50 inch screen so we started to create our programs in a 15 minute format instead of a three minute format and we found that's working quite well now yeah yeah and uh, it you know as well as your your constant updates on it on everything music and what's happening I mean uh, they're predating a lot of the 24-hour news things things that you report in music as well which is just astonishing that yeah. uh, the contacts you have built over your uh, years of being in the business uh, you know accuracy is, is king in this game I, I believe and uh, you do such a good job at it it's, a, it's amazing how many stories we get leaked yeah. out of the United States every day because yeah. you know it's convenient for something to suddenly appear out of Australia yeah because you know you can't trace that back to a leak sure. yeah you know? no I understand so uh, yeah we, we do get a lot of scoops that way yeah yeah now uh, let's have a quick chat about your panel and um, and, and and what I've been asking everybody that uh, has, has been gracious enough to give their time here to the, to the people attending mm. is that um, uh, you, you give a lot of advice out and you, and you have a lot of people going away with uh, ideas or things they can tweak or change. Mm. What do you take away from, from, from this and your panel discussion? Well, just the panel discussion sort of, uh, I, I, I guess it summarises that, you know, the media is changing, the music industry is changing, and uh, there's a bit of confusion out there on both sides of the game as to where it's all going to be heading. Uh, but I think the, uh, the simple answer is that there won't be any single model moving forward. There's going to be multiple models. And from an artist's perspective, that may be about selling tickets instead of, sell, instead of selling CDs and your music becomes your promotional item. It may be that you sell a lot of CDs but you're not, not a very big live act so it could be something that you know you're uh, uh, selling music and, and merchandise yeah. and I think it's really up to the individual artist to work out who they are and what they're going to be and then uh, basically go with that model that works best for them but it doesn't have to be the one-size-fits-all model which basically has been the music industry for the last 40 years. Mm. Yeah no it's, it's, it's very interesting and uh, 
What, what, do you, what do you make of, of Face the Music to this point? Uh, I was talking to, uh, I think it was Anita before, uh, from way over there, and and just talking about, the, it seems to me this year has been the year for, uh, that's all right, it's, it's all, it's all well, it's live now, but not when you're watching. Um, but uh, about uh, the, the blowout of, of the exposure of music conferences now, I think Big, uh, big Sound this year, uh, for me, I, I kind of notice a little bit more in the media mm. with their promotion and, and that sort of thing, and and with and one movement last year sort of launching first off and yeah. having a great and an, uh, you know initial year. Uh, it just seems that these they're getting more exposure and people are realizing that you really need to get everyone together collectively to mm. sort of come up with some uh, some answers or at least some really good advice. And yeah. it seems to be happening this year in Australia. Well, yeah, the first time I went to Big Sound a couple of years ago, I was amazed how, how positive it was, because really since uh, Napster sort of kicked in all those years ago, right you know, up until that point, it's been very negative, the way that uh, the media has been talking about the music industry. And the sh simple fact is people aren't listening to any less music. They're just absorbing it in a different way. Mm. And the great thing about conferences like Face the Music, whether it be Big Sound or One Movement, it actually puts a positive message together for people because you know once you uh, you sort of have common problems within an industry if people can talk about it collectively they come up with new ideas and I think even out of face of music this weekend you're going to see a lot of new ideas that have just come from you know people in the uh, in the Melbourne music industry particularly that uh, you know we'll probably see having benefit to the industry in the years to come yeah sure yeah no it's it's all very good stuff and uh, and on that note Paul I will let you go because I know you have people to see and and, 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 and liquids to drink. And deals to bro broker <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. But thank you so thank much you, for your time. It's good to talk and, to you. And uh, guys, if you want any more information on Undercover, you can go to undercover.com.au. Add them on Facebook, add them on Twitter. If you want your up-to-date news, this is where you have to go. And also, uh, you've got all your interviews online and all, that, all, all the content and everything's there. Just go check it out. It's uh, Paul Cashmere of Undercover. Joining me here at, uh, at the Face of Music Festival 2010 for Rock City Networks and The Push.